The 43-year-old co-host of Love is Blind, who recently detailed her simple parenting approach, said on Instagram on Monday that she was planning to move from the island to a mainland residence. Following the premiere of season 3 in April, CBS canceled the popular show NCI's Hawaii, which led to her and her family's significant move. She posted a carousel of pictures of her, her 50-year-old husband Nick, and their children, Candon John, 11, Brooklyn Elizabeth, 9, and Phoenix Robert, 7, all dressed in flower lace and Hawaiian-themed outfits. The heart is in the home, according to a Hawaii who, Hawaii, my heart will always be with you. Thank you very much, Nui Loa, for giving my family and I three wonderful, amazing years. Let's go on to the next adventure now. We head off into the twilight. She wrote, hashtag party of 5 hashtag aloha spirit, in the caption. She also included a cute picture of Nick and her holding hands as they strolled off into the sunset. With over 30 fork likes and hundreds of supportive comments, the actress and her family received a lot of attention from her 1.1 million followers on the gorgeous coastal photographs. I adored NCI's Hawaii. CBS made a mistake. Wrote a series fan. Another person said, You have left us with a tiny hole that we'll never be able to fill, and we will never forget what you have done in our hearts. A Hawaii who? Oh, I'm very sad, said one follower. I concur that your family is at home. However, I sincerely hoped that NCIS Hawaii would not be cancelled. We had a great time with it. Best wishes for your next journey. Vanessa expressed her shock and dismay on her Instagram story in April after finding out that her show will not be renewed for a fourth season. The lead actress at the time tweeted, gutted, confused, blindsided, over an NCIS Hawaii logo. The actress who played special agent in charge Jane Tennant continued, saying, processing this news and still being present with my family. She ended, calling her followers grateful, confident, beloved. I love you all, followed by the customary Mahalo Nui Loa. With only a few days notice, CBS revealed the news, dashed any hopes that the actors and staff could bring the series to a seamless conclusion with a fourth and final season. The program was the first in the NCIS series to have a female protagonist and the first to be cancelled without a fitting finale. Offshoots after 14 and 7 seasons, respectively, NCIS. Los Angeles and NCIS. New Orleans were permitted to end their respective runs with grace. Despite LL Cool J, a Los Angeles veteran, joining the cast and NCIS. Hawaii's high ratings, the network decided to cancel the show despite producers' offers to make significant compromises for a fourth season, according to Deadline. Uncertainty over the network's overall future might have also contributed. The sale of Paramount Global, the parent business, is now underway.